everybody thinks you're only getting traffic if you rank number one. That's, that's not the truth. Hey all, it's Justin Brooke from AdSkills.com and welcome digital marketers. I've got a great uh, brand to show today, digitalmarketer.com. So we're going to jump into uh, Ryan Dice's company. I don't know if he's still at the hell of this. I don't know if he sold it or not, but I know he's doing uh, scalable.com as his new thing. Uh, still a little bit new. So the tools were able to really zoom in on what's going on with digital marketer. And I know that digital marketer has long been a, a landmark in the digital marketing scene. So let's go ahead and dive in and check out what are their strategies how are they getting their traffic and all that stuff so let's dive in all right we see the home page here love the credibility that is built through this little image up here i gotta say that's some some smart stuff here um trust about it we got credibility get certified seems to be like that's their main thing now is certifications right master digital marketing we've certified certifications get certified certification certification so it's like they're really pointing the the, the needle at uh, the arrow to get certified all right so that seems to be their main thing uh then we'll go ahead and check out their traffic so we take a look we've got two hundred nineteen thousand visitors per month with ninety seven thousand of them being unique average visit duration four minutes a 53 percent balance rate and visiting uh we'll call three to four pages okay then we've got some comparison between a few different companies here and main wow very international audience surprising to see you know looking at their brand knowing their brand for so many years is i would have thought united states would have been much bigger i would have thought it would have been like at least three times bigger to see that they're so international is interesting so we take a look at their breakdown pretty much organic search you know no paid search no display ads that i can tell really it's organic with a little bit of social Email should be higher. I know these guys. They're big email marketers. I'm not sure why that isn't higher. But again, these tools, they don't show specific accurates uh, that we see right here, digital marketer, active post, right? So that's going to be their active campaign account. And that shows that email marketing is one of their number one ways they're driving traffic. Uh, and again, all these tools, they're, they're doing approximates, they're doing estimations. They're buying a little data here. They're uh, estimating data over there. So it's not exactly it, but it's a much much better picture than having no picture, right? We see Facebook and YouTube and then WhatsApp. That's interesting. WhatsApp and LinkedIn. Uh, LinkedIn makes sense because of the certifications, right? So there's probably a lot of badges out there. Then we see some Twitter. So really uh, a very social company, social marketing company. And we'll dig into that here. Let's go into their SEO. We only see 17,000 visitors coming from SEO. Which traffic did they originally have? So said uh, 219,000. So that's less than 10% of their traffic is coming from Surge. And I have this set to all time and we see a bit of a fall off. Where does that start? It starts August. They were at 28,000 a month. And then, so that's August, 2022. And then now we're in April, they're at 17. So a bit of a fall off on the SEO there. We'll go to the two year, see what that looks like a little bit more. And again, we see the slump just a little bit. Mostly straight across with just a little bit of a slump here at the back uh, first part of the 2023. Unfortunately, we don't see any paid ads. Somebody, a digital marketer, please call me, talk to me, talk to anybody in ad skills. You should absolutely, like if marketing certifications is the big thing you're going after on your website. I know of several keywords that would be just no brainers for you to be running in search. Or at least your brand name for all the different product names for Labs Plus and all these different things. I absolutely think paid search should be some part doesn't have to be a big part but it should be some part of the traffic profile here i see 5.5 million backlinks that's big that's bonkers i would love to dig into that with some stronger seo tools let me know in the comments also by the way if you want me to add in something like a moz or an ahrefs into these reports if you want to dive a little deeper into seo and mostly dive into the the paid traffic side of things a little social but if you want us to dive deeper into seo let us know in a comment below See 13,000 referring domains. All right, let's jump into the keywords then. We see, um, if you saw that, if you caught that, oh, let me go back one page real quick. If you saw the intent, 63, 64% informational. So those are those longer traffic-based keywords. And then we see, uh, what we got? 28, 29, almost 30% of the, the traffic is coming from commercial. 
interesting. Good balance. Good balance. Very good balance. So I love to see that. Good, smart strategies. Then let's go over to their organic keywords and see what stuff they're ranking for and what landing pages there are here. So digital marketing ranking position fit. That's good. You know, like most people would be like, ah, oh, I didn't make it to the top 10, but like to, to rank, look at the volume, uh, 135,000 searches per month for this keyword and they're ranking 15. So that's, I mean, a hundred KD score. Your keyword difficulty is a hundred uh, and they're ranking for this. So like what kind of a page is ranking for this? So let's check that out, right? So we see digital marketing. It is in the URL, in the title tag, we've got the ultimate guide to digital marketing, digital marketer, and then they're handling in the ultimate guide to digital marketing. And so I'm guessing this is just an epic post. I would love to see how many words this is, goes off to other pages. So big epic post where they're going to dive deeper into more blog posts as well and start chapter one. Very, very cool. Very smart strategy. So if you want to go after one of those big, big keywords, this is your strategy. Create a main, like almost like a book type of page on the main keyword. And then you're going to have a lot of other blog posts that are breaking down that main keyword. So let's see what they, what they break off into, right? So they go, what's chapter one? Okay. Chapter one, uh, digital marketing strategy. Then we've got content marketing. Then we've got your advertising plan. Then we've got social media marketing strategy. So they're going after all these different strategy type keywords. Interesting, interesting strategy. I would, if you were an SEO, if you want to go after a big, big keyword and learn how to rank uh, the top 50 <laughs> for a big, big keyword, I would really be taking a look at this page and then reverse engineering a lot more of that. I'd spend a whole weekend studying what they're doing with this page and all their link profiles and all that stuff. So very cool information to see. Let's see what else we got. We got Creator Studio. Let's see, Facebook Creator Studio, Facebook Adelaide, where email marketing, content marketing, one is copyright. Really going after a big, big, look at their, their keyword difficulty profile. All right, so these guys are swinging for the fences. So maybe not as many keywords as some people are ranking for, but they're going after the big stuff. They're going after email marketing. They're going after content marketing. They're going after digital marketing, social media marketing. Some of the biggest, toughest keywords in the business they were going after and uh, and doing fairly well. Like, you know, we see they're on 40, they're position 41, 86. So they're in the top 100 for these things. So it's not like they're slouches or anything. I mean, they're doing all right. Uh, even with the top 100, you're still getting some traffic from it. Everybody thinks you're only getting traffic if you rank number one. That's, that's not the truth. You can get plenty of traffic ranking uh, 35, for example. What else do we got here? TikTok hashtags, TikTok hashtag, conversion rate optimization. You know, they're really, there's no, uh, I don't know if there's any specific strategy that they're going after. It's not like there's one type of keyword. You know, they're just going after the big, big keywords, right? Internet marketing, e-commerce business, online marketing, content marketing, email marketing. Like they're going after the real really big topical keywords in the industry and try to get their traffic from those things. So you could do a lot of work going after a lot of small keywords and all those little tiny keywords create a river. Or you could do a lot of work going after just a few keywords and those few keywords create a river. Or either way, you're doing a lot of work, right? You're not, you don't get to escape the, the hard work. Nobody gets to escape hard work, but hard work does pay off. So good stuff. Um, ad beat, nothing to see here. There's no paid ads at all. So let's check out some of their social media. We're on their YouTube. They have 62,000 subscribers of their YouTube. Take a look at some of their latest videos. What we see. I don't know that I see any of them popping off virally or anything like that. Nothing super sticking out to me. So let's check out popular. Their biggest one. These these are ads up here. We know that because they're short uh, and there's really no headline to them, right? You know, this one might not tube advertising. What's the cost? More YouTube advertising. So these are kind of more of their videos, some of the ones that have done well. See, some of these are seven and nine years old. Uh, some of the newer stuff. Do we see any newer stuff up here? Three year, one year, paid traffic master certification. That looks like an ad as well. I don't know that I see any specific strategy. Again, they're just going after kind of the, you know, like YouTube adverts. They're going after the big, big keywords again. You know, they're trying to rank for the biggest keywords. A lot of Facebook ad stuff, a lot of YouTube ad stuff in here and then we go over to their TikTok. we've got 513 followers let's see if we got any that's like super popping off see any major hits 
that we could kind of glean some kind of, you know, what, what happened there kind of thing. We do see that some of the older stuff is getting more views. I don't know if that's just because it's older, but some of the newer stuff not getting as many views as some of this older stuff here. Let's check out Twitter. I know that they're strong on Twitter. Yeah, we got 47,000 followers here on Twitter and it looks like they're sharing their blog posts. So, you know, if we're going to, you know, we see a, a blog post and then they're automating it, right? Hot off the press, brand new blog post this year. And then you see again, hot off the press, brand new blog post is here. Hot off the press, brand new blog post is here. So it's definitely being automated. And that's one of the reasons why they're not getting a whole lot of engagement is they're really just automating what they blog. So really, if we could break it down for you, digital marketer strategy, they're pretty much an SEO cup, right? There's, there's no paid search. There's no display ads. I didn't see any hint of YouTube ads. Maybe there's Facebook ads. I should have probably pulled that up, some of their Facebook ads, but we don't see a whole lot of advertising. We see a lot of SEO, right? Their whole website is really all about search engine optimization. They're going after the big keywords and they have a lot of backlinks to it. So, and then their Twitter strategy is even just pushing their blog posts out there. That's really smart because pushing your blog posts out to Twitter, Twitter is a very heavily spidered website. So it's a great way to get Google to know about your new pages as soon as they're published. So it's a good little SEO strategy. Yeah, if you want to be the next digital marketer or learn some lessons from digital marketer, I would really take a look at that one page that, they're, that they have optimized for digital marketing, really look into their SEO, very strong on SEO. That seems to be bringing the bulk of their traffic. That seems to be the bulk of their marketing. And then they also have that traffic and conversion summit. So that's a different thing. And I know that that's made millions and millions of dollars for them and brought, you know, I don't know if it was tens of thousands, I know thousands of people were going to those conferences. So there's a bit of a couple of different pieces, but if you want to learn what makes digital marketer a digital marketer, it's SEO. And check out that one digital marketing page because I think there's a huge lesson in SEO just studying that page. All right, I'm Justin Brooke from edskills.com. See you.